Hey guys, welcome. This is Kira, and today I want to do a review on a new patch that just came out on World of Warcraft called Draenor, Warlords of Draenor. So the first thing, as you can see, the whole screen has changed. Back in the day, you had this green portal on Burning Crusade expansion. Now it's red. It looks awesome. The graphics are unbelievable, and I'm going to show you why after I log in. So, at first, I want to show you the models that they have now. So if I go here, and I go um, basic humans, um, the male ones, you can see the wrinkles, the facial expression. I mean, it just looks awesome. The female humans look unbelievable now. You can see the eyes completely blinking perfect. Uh, the dwarfs, I mean... <laughs> You can see the huge difference in them. They look really cool now. The night elves, I don't believe the night elves changed too much, uh, except the hair still looks kind of um, different, but I mean, still looks better than before. And uh, this is the female night elf on the alliance side. She looks cool. The gnomes have huge upgrades. Their eyes are huge. Their the hair looks cool. Um, this is the male one. I mean, they kind of look the same, but a lot better. I think they polished the graphics a whole bunch. Uh, I believe the Draenei looks a little different. You can see the wrinkles, the horns. Um, the eyes look pretty badass. I like that. I'm sure the Worgans are the same, because they were pretty good as they were before. Um, yeah, I mean, except the hair, but they look the same. Pandaren, same, because they already looked good before. Now, my Horde, my since I played the Horde, huge, huge, huge changes just... The orcs. You can see how the orcs are looking around. Their facial changes from angry to happy to flirting to whatever. You can see the absolute detail on their facial, their skin. The gear looks absolutely phenomenal. I love it. The undead... <laughs> just awesome. They're, if you choose not to have a jaw, your tongue actually goes side to side with the wind. It's unbelievable. I love it. Um, I mean, I, I guess I just customize really fast if you can see what kind of facial you can have, a bunch of wrinkles, um, the features, the jaw goes to the side and actually moves, um, it looks awesome, so awesome, I, I, I love this, um, here's a female, I think it just had the most features, um, you can see the faces you can have with none dead. Oops, that's, that looks pretty cool. Um, you can have different features. Absolutely awesome. I, I, I love Undead now. They're so much better than before. Absolutely amazing. Um, the Torrens, for some odd reason, um, they kind of look like gorillas in a way. I'm not sure why um, Blizzard made the nostrils so humongous, but still, still looks, so <laughs> looks a lot better than before. Um, I'm wondering if you can do a lot to their faces now. I guess you're stuck with the same big nose. Huh. Not not a huge fan, but... It's better than before, for sure. You can actually see the creases in the horns. Um, unlike before, they were very cartoonish. So now they're a little bit more updated, which is cool. Oh yeah, the hair actually moves now. Awesome stuff. I actually like the male torrents now. I used to like the female. Now I like the males a lot better for some reason. They just look awesome. The trolls? Cool. Um, huge, huge updates with the trolls. The faces. Um, the skin. The hair. Completely different. I mean, they actually look pretty awesome, actually. Um, hair color. Cool. And their nose, actually, with the color paint, changes with the hair paint. Like trolls are supposed to, right? Um... I actually might make a troll now, because they're so cool. Yeah. Their hairstyles have improved tremendously. Oh wow, you see the bone in her hair. Awesome. I love it. Love it. Yes. Uh, I'm sure Blood Elves are the same. Uh, they were good before. Um, goblins. Um, they look the same also. And Pandaren, yep. So, I'm gonna show you 
some of the changes they did, starting with Ogrimmar, because there's a lot of changes happened there. Unlike before, a lot of things have changed, like they took away most um, of everybody's classes, they took away a lot of spells, um, they made it pretty basic now, just the way it was um, during Burning Crusade. Like for example, I used to have um, at least 300,000 health power, now I'm down to 78,000, which is huge, dramatic jump down. Um, a lot of my spells are gone, um, I crit for maybe, um, if I'm lucky, um, 7,000 when I used to for 300,000, 500,000, so they've really nerfed everybody. Um, you can no longer get Valor points, you can only get gold, obviously because the expansion um, is right around the corner, so you can't really have too many things. So, for example, my run is different. I'm actually um, moving my hands, um, my cape follows. It's really like life-like um, animation. I think um, the huge part is that how amazing the graphics are, especially I'm playing Orc, and before they were kind of cool, but now you can actually see the absolute detail. Um, if I make her dance, you can actually see her face changes as she dances, which is, um, to me, the little things matter the most, and I love it. Um, absolutely awesome. So while I'm here, I'm going to show you a huge change you can do to your character now. And I'm sure it goes for every class, but since my main is an orc, I'm going to do orc stuff and show you why um, I like orcs. I mean, personally, I like them because they're just awesome. <laughs> but this really made my day when I could change um, my face. Before, you could only do your hair your skin color and um, your tusks and your hair color and now you can actually change your face so um, since her face is this way I can choose to be more wrinkly, different eye color, angry, <laughs> uh, whatever that is um, so you can actually change the face of your character now which is a um, huge bonus I like it um, then you can do the hairstyle and you can pick literally any hairstyle and it looks so good you it just flows better it's um I, I like it you see the creases in each of the strides here i mean blizzard definitely definitely stood up stood, um definitely made it a lot better um since there are a lot of competitions out there i'm sure they had to but I've been playing this game for uh, seven, six years, something like that, and um, I am amazed at what they did. Definitely huge changes. Um, you can change the colors, which in orcs you don't really have that many. Like probably uh, trolls get to have like bright pink, purple hair. Um, you can choose from piercings with my character, and uh, of course orcs have a lot of piercings. <laughs> but these are the, some of the changes you can do to your character. Also, in Ogrimmar, um, if you start flying around, you will realize quickly that all of the uh, Garrosh's uh, followers, the True Hordes, are gone. All of the main bosses from Siege of Ogrimmar are gone. Um, it's all cleaned up. Um, pretty much looks the same as it was before. Pandaria, which um, the new NPCs are now level 100. They definitely changed that up, and if you go inside where Thrall used to be, you see our new leader, and his name is hmm, Volgen, I guess Volgen, but we already knew that he's going to be the new leader after we killed um, Garrosh, because Thrall gave that up and nominated him. So, Thrall, good for you, man finally have a troll that's um <laughs> a war chief yeah he's um he looks actually pretty badass um good job blizzard definitely impressed so now if you want to go to the new area which you have a starting zone i already played a little bit so i finished the quest um and um for the when you finish the quest line you get a little pet and he looks like um 
Let's see. He looks like a little wheel, kind of. Let's see if I can summon him and show you. I mean, he was cute. So if you if you collect a lot of pets and you do pet battles, um, probably definitely should get it. Is that it? Yeah, that's him. So this is what he looks like if you finish the quest line. Cute. <laughs> He's definitely cute. Iron Starlet. That's not bad. I like them. And, you know, I think even if you don't collect pets, you should definitely do the quest line because it really shows you how the new fighting, um, the way the new fighting is now because um, before things would be just red, whatever you had to kill, but now their outlines are red because if I go over a scroller, you can see green on those um, friendly characters, they become green all around. But if you do an enemy, they're red all around. And then when you do quests, the stuff doesn't light up like glittery like it was before. It's just kind of um, hard to spot. So they made questing a little bit more difficult, but still um, nowhere to go just by looking at the map. Oh, and also the map. So the maps are a huge deal now because you can actually see Draenor by clicking on it. And you can see uh, Shadow Moon Valley. Nagran, just the way it was, just a little bit different, and it tells you the pet level if you do pet battles, and then the levels required for you to quest, like the 90 to 93, um, kind of reminds me of Wrath of Lich King, the starting zone. If you go from Silver Pine Forest, you go to F Jord, to Jord, um, or if you go from uh, Ogrima, you go to uh, Arathi Basin, I think that's the name of it. So I'm guessing it's going to be the same way very excited to actually um, quest because I think it comes out on the 11th but I know it's next month for sure also exciting thing you can do is you can actually see the dungeons that are available right away as you start you know um, leveling and one of them is Archidon and the best part you can actually see the loot you can get uh, the abilities and the boss, which is uh, pretty impressive. Uh, some of the bosses are very unique. Definitely looks cool, and I am excited to actually start to battle them. Um, very good job, Blizzard. I mean, I was just sitting here yesterday and looking at them and at awe at some that they did. Like this one, it's just, I don't know. It, to me, it's all about detail, and I love it. Um, it's all about the small things for me. But these are some of the bosses and the dungeons. These are not raids. These are just dungeons. Uh, probably going to be heroics. And um, XP grinders, as always. Um, but they look cool. I'm pretty impressed overall. And I just like that I can already see what kind of gear I can get. Um, the black upper spire you can do right now. Um, you get level 550 loot and the new loot system at least from these dungeons one dungeon that i did yesterday you don't roll and if you are able to equip it you get it and everybody else who can equip it in your group gets it as well because there was a ring with agility that dropped that had spirit on it um this other person was able to loot it i looted and we both got the same thing even though one thing dropped so I guess that's going to be the new loot system, I'm not sure, but that's just from what I've seen. Um, also, when I did the dungeon, I was only able to do about uh, two bosses, which was this one. I believe it was this one. Um, and I don't think I did that one. Yeah, I did, because it was just a bunch of ads, yeah. And it ends right there, unless my group just dis disbanded and left. But this is where I stopped. But I'm going to try today and see if I can get the other two, which kind of would make sense, right? Um, but so far, cool stuff. Um, Everbloom. Yeah, is it the Everbloom? Oh. Yeah, Everbloom. That's cool. And these are the bosses you can fight. He's cute. I mean, it's kind of jungle y looking. I like that. Since it's going to be savage land. That's a lot of NPCs are saying now, the savage land. But these are cool. I mean, except the human. These, this is cool. These are really different. Um, 
pretty excited to check them out. I mean, it's kind of looks like brute to me. Maybe. All right, I'm gonna show you uh, a raid. The, there are three raids off the bat that you can probably start once you hit level 100. And one of them is Draenor. And this is the boss. He looks kind of spacey. I don't know. He, this is my favorite one. Cool. Um, there's this one you can fight. And I'm guessing since there's three in a row, like before, they're all at once. Probably crowd control and kill them in a special order. Um, you can see the loot if you um, select the class, whatever you are. Um, you know, you can just all class and see what kind of loot you can get. I like that because it makes it a lot easier for me to search for certain things. I am quite impressed with some of the gear they did for hunters because before that hunters had this kind of uh, jungly look, but now I see um, a lot of gear looks good. Um, and I love that. I, I love when gear looks different. Um, there's this one called High Mall um, Array, and you can see all of the, the beginner um, quest liners. Like this guy, you, I think you begin a quest with him. I guess you get to fight him in the end, but uh, he looks pretty cool. His name is Kalgrath, Blightfist, Blightfist. Um, then the Butcher, Tectus. <laughs> I can't even pronounce some of the names, but um, see, these are some of the guys you can fight in the raid since they changed the levels. Apparently the regular raids now, like a normal, is now a heroic. Um, flex considered normal, and I'm guessing looking for raid is looking for raid. Um, and there's also different in um, heroic dungeons you can do. You can do regular, heroic, or it's, also, it's called um, mythic. Yes. I guess it's mythical. Maybe. But um, the best part, like I said, is the gear. Especially for my hunter. Um, it's pretty impressive. One of the things I've noticed, some of the agility trinkets have spirit and spirit regenerates mastery for hunters? Interesting. Interesting stuff. Um, Definitely a lot of changes. A lot of changes going on here. Um, definitely something new for me to explore and learn because I always like changing things when things are not the same. Um, because I think when things become easy, it just gets boring. So um, last night I was doing Ordo's fight, which is um, a 40 man raid. Usually super easy. Um, sometimes I can just go AFK, come back, and I get my loot. Um, but now. We actually wiped for at least 45 minutes to an hour last night because of all of the new nerfs and changes. Ordos is actually hard to kill now, guys. And I noticed a lot of people actually started to leave right after, you know, a wipe. Just one wipe, half of the raid left. But, you know, in reality, that's the way it's supposed to be. You're, you, I think you're supposed to earn your gear. I like um, when it's hard to get epics, when it's actually... You know, you look awesome, and it's because you actually put your time into it, and now you look good because you actually in the raid and you tried. Um, a lot of people who did stick around for orders, which I did, they like the new changes. They think that um, their Blizzard's burning, uh, bringing back Burning Crusade. Um, they're gonna nerf everybody and make things actually a little bit more difficult to do. Uh, I am definitely all for that. Um, I like. I don't mind wipes. I don't mind grinding. I think it's part of the game for me. You know, that's my personal opinion. Um, by the way, guys, there's two portals. There's a portal here that says portal to Hellfire Peninsula or a portal here to Blasted Land. So if you want to follow the quest line that you're going to get to see the new stuff, you have to um, go to this one called Portal to Blast uh, Blasted Land. And I'll show you what it looks like. Um, I know a lot of healers took a huge hit because they had a really hard time healing everybody. Um, a lot of people actually, believe it or not, they actually had to stay out of fire, stay out of stuff on the ground, because since your health is so low, you die easily. You know, if someone had, let's say, some, I, I've seen tanks that had a million health power, which is insane. Um, now, 
I think tanks maybe have 150,000, maybe, correct me if I'm wrong, but I know they got nerfed a whole lot, and I noticed a lot of people died in Ordo's fight last night, and because they just stood in the fire, thinking they can live through it like before, but you can't. The healers are having a hard time just healing the tanks, and these are the healers that are actually geared. They got nerfed. I, I like the concept that you actually have to pay attention where you stand, what you're doing, what your job is to be able to down a boss. I think it's cool. I'm, I'm really excited. So um, this is where you start up. You get a bunch of quests and um, you fly around and you just pretty much kill a lot of ads. Wasn't too exciting, but you get to see the new fighting styles, the, the new NPCs the way quests look and this is what the portal looks now because there's no more green portal they took it away that's why you can only take that one portal from Orgrimmar or you can probably port to um, Pandaria uh, Shrine of Two Moons or the Shrine of uh, Seven Stars and take the portal to Shatra and go to Burning Crusade from there um, but <clears throat> Right away, the first things I've noticed when I flew around here yesterday was um, a lot of NPCs and they're like skull and they're red. Um, a bunch of elites standing around and the best part, like the portal, uh, it, it looks a little smaller than the green one. I think the green one was really tall. Uh, this one looks a little shorter, it's red. It has the same two guys with eyes following you around with a huge snake. And this is how amazing Blizzard did this because Look at the bottom, the steps actually has broken rocks and cracks and mud. Um, it, it, it looks it looks great. The update is amazing. They definitely um, did, did a good job. I, I thoroughly enjoyed this. But overall, I really enjoy this new patch. Um, honestly, I am more than excited now to find out how the exp exp expansion going to be. Um, it, hopefully, it's gonna bring back a lot of old players um, because I know a lot of people quit because of Pandaria, but I'm excited and I hope you guys are excited to um, let me know if there's any other spots that I've missed or didn't say. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Um, give me a like um, and subscribe if you haven't. Please.